Yo, what's up with it, guys? It's the Cool Herc. Stop the music. If anything, run. These are the exit. Don't run by the turntable. You ain't fitting back here. Yeah. That's Pat Relocation Services. So first off, I got to tell you guys, Tehran, Albania is a fantastic place to live. If you're earning money in USD, Euro, uh, British pounds, even Australian dollars, you can have a really, really nice lifestyle here. I definitely suggest this place for digital nomads, but it's a big, big question on everybody's mind. What does it actually cost to live here? Well, we're going to have the Mish educate you. Hey guys, what's going on? So we're gonna talk about uh, cost of living in Tirana, Albania. So um, I'm pretty sure you guys saw the apartment video. So our apartment, uh, the rent is about 500 euros per month. Water is, uh, I'll just say it in lack, 3,248 for one month. Electricity, 7,247. And internet, there's like all different types of internet plans. They do have fiber here, but it's the most expensive option. I think it was about $50 a month if you want fiber optic. But we went with like, not the lowest plan, but like one of the plans in the middle. And it's about 3,300 lakh. And we have 25 megabytes per second upload and 60 megabytes per second download. So it's enough for live stream, to upload our YouTube videos. It's enough to watch a YouTube video. It's definitely suitable, but if you need faster, they do have it here. Some other stuff is groceries. So groceries per week are about 10,000 lakh. Per month, it's 40,000 lakh, but that's for two people, don't forget. The utilities and everything, this is for two people. So if you're just one person, cut it in half. Eating out, like your typical coffee is anywhere from 70 to 120 lakh. Depends on what you want. If you want espresso, macchiato, latte, cappuccino. Our cell phone bill is 1,200 lakh per month and we get six gigs, 2,000 minutes and 200 tax. But I don't use nearly that much like 4G. Um, there are cheaper plans and more expensive plans as well. And we're with um, the company One. Okay, transport. We don't really use it because we everything here is walkable. There's like three grocery stores in this area. There's like six cafes just on our corner. It's pretty convenient if you live in the center of Tirana. But um, transport can be anywhere from 300 to 500 lakh for a taxi. If you want to take the bus, though, it's way cheaper. It's um, 40 to 60 lakh for uh, like the city bus, like in the city. But yeah, usually we just walk. It's nothing is really that far here. You can't drink the water in your apartment, so you have to buy bottled water. But I heard, I don't know if it's true, but I heard that whether you buy five liter, seven liter or 10 liter, it's still 100 lakh, which is like a dollar but I'm not sure if that's true because I've never actually seen a 10 liter, but the five liter and the seven liter are about a hundred lakh. So probably per month we spend for two people, like with all the eating out and the groceries and everything, um, probably about 1500 USD for two people, like with all that extra stuff. So if you're just cooking at home, it's gonna be cheaper and making coffee at home, it's gonna be cheaper. Anyways, thanks for watching and hopefully this was helpful. Peace. So this budget is based on two people, guys. So it's myself and the Mish. Um, you could probably cut it in half for one person, but obviously nobody can really fix a budget for you. Depending on what you're earning, you could ball out and live in luxury. Um, I feel like this is kind of like a conservative budget for a new country where we don't know necessarily that much yet so we started off trying to keep it around under fifteen hundred dollars a month but you could obviously spend much 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 more and if you want to live in a much like you know less desirable neighborhoods smaller apartment you can pay much less
So it all really depends on how you position yourself. This is just one example of how you can live. We can set you up in a dirt cheap apartment that's not in the city center and it'll be very, very little. It'll still probably be a pretty nice place. Or we can set you up in a luxury high rise right in the center of the city. So, you know, this is just one example of a budget that can work for a digital nomad, but there's many lifestyles on offer here. And pretty much for whatever budget you have, it'll be a much better deal than what you would get in the US, Australia, Canada, the UK, New Zealand. Um, if you have that income and you're able to earn currency from outside of Albania, I mean, guys, it's the Mediterranean. What else do you need? What do you think of when you think of Albania? I think of opportunity. I think of a country that's open. I think of a country that wants long stay expats, that wants people to come and invest, wants new ideas, and is looking towards the West. I think that Albania is a beautiful country with incredible landscapes that can offer a very comfortable lifestyle at a very reasonable price. We will help navigate your journey to becoming an expat in Albania. We're working with some of the top lawyers. We can help establish businesses. We can help you get your residency. We can help you get real estate. We can arrange almost any contact that you might need for the process of moving here in almost any city in the country. We will simplify the process. We'll make it a lot easier for you to move to a country that maybe in the past would have been more of a challenge. With our help, it's gonna be a walk in the park. Hey, what's up? I'm D from Canada. Hook up with the New York Nomad if you want a smooth ride into Vietnam or any Southeast Asian countries. Hey, my name is Aaron. Get in contact with the New York Nomad. If you want to get into Vietnam, hit them up. They'll get you in securely and professionally. Yo, this is Uncle Hollywood. I'm telling you right now, the New York Nomad got me a job. He's legit. Hit him up. Check him out. New York Nomad set me up in Vietnam. <laughs> Yo, my man got me a job. Come to Vietnam. Hey, what's up guys? You thinking about coming to Vietnam? You're not sure where to start? You've heard a lot of things online. You don't know what's true, you don't know what's not. We offer a consulting service where we help you get on your feet in Vietnam. We give you advice on negotiating contracts with employers. We help you with real estate agents, visa agents that are reliable and that you can trust. And we help you get started in this amazing country and get on your feet. We help you get into different opportunities that might be more difficult for you if you were just landing in the country on your own. And we help you avoid a lot of the, the pitfalls and problems problems that you could have as a newcomer here. We provide you with reliable job recruiters, visa agents, real estate agents, and advice. If you guys are thinking about coming to Vietnam, hit us up for a consultation. We'll help you get started, help you get on your feet, and hopefully you'll love Vietnam as much as we do.